My name is Ian Stewart. In this video, I'm going to show you the new Supervision Metering and Analysis plugin included in WaveLab Pro 11. Let's dive in. In addition to the established metering and analysis tools included in WaveLab, WaveLab 11 comes with a complete new analysis tool, Supervision. Supervision is a professional tool suite for monitoring and analyzing your audio. The plugin comes with 27 different modules for level, spectral, phase, waveform, and additional analysis, and has up to nine module slots that you can freely lay out to create a custom layout to see things just the way you want them. So let's take a look at some of the different metering and analysis options that are available, and then how to create a customized layout for them. To start, up at the top left here, you can see we've got a dropdown, and this gives you all your different metering types. You can see we've got metering for level, so level, VU, histogram, um, a whole bunch of loudness metrics, so you know specific for uh, Netflix or a loudness histogram, loudness ratio can be very useful too. Then we've got a bunch of spectral meters, so a spectral curve, a spectral bar, intensity, keyboard, spectrogram, chromogram, a um, whole bunch of different ways of looking at spectral information. Then a bunch of phase information, so a phase scope, a panorama scope, multi-panorama, this is one of my favorites, correlation, multi-correlation, another one of my favorites, and a balance meter. Uh, we've got some surround metering options for uh, both surround placement and ambisonics, and then kind of some waveform uh, visualization, so an oscilloscope, a wave scope and a wave circle. And finally, we've got a time uh, meter too. So just like your, your time code or clock that you can view in there. So many of the meters that you would normally find in WaveLab, you know, your level meter, your loudness meter, um, some of the spectrometer, spectroscopes, the phase scope, the time code, it's all available in here. But with so much real estate, you can create a really nice customized layout, see all of it at once. So let's look at how to do that. The first thing to point out is that supervision is freely resizable. So let's give ourselves a little more room to work with to start. If you want to split a pane, there are a couple ways to do that. You can either use the buttons at the top right here or in any given pane, there are also split buttons. So let's create a, a vertical split to start. And I'm going to push our, our level meters off to the side here, just kind of make those a little smaller, but just big enough to read out our true peaks. And then let's split this one horizontally. Now up at the top, I like to see a phase scope that, that I always find uh, useful. Um, so let's grab the phase scope, there it is. And then let's split this vertically. And let me give myself a clock here. So now I can see time code too. So now this is kind of replicating um, what I've got up here, except now I don't have to flip between these two tabs to do it. I've got both of them side by side. Down at the bottom, um, I think I'm gonna wanna give myself a little more room here too. Um, I think I'm gonna split this horizontally again. And on the top, I told you I really like this multi-panorama. Let's bring that in. And on the bottom, Let's bring in the multi-correlation. So now we've got this nice layout. In fact, you know, I'm almost wondering, looking at this, I think I can give myself even more information here. I don't need the clock quite that big. Let's find something good to put up here. Let's try, let's try the wave circle. There we go. So now we've got this nice layout. You might have noticed I've actually got a 5.1 project in the background here. So that's going to give us some additional options. On each pane, you can click on them and then select additional options, both in your settings and how you want displayed, what, what information you want displayed. So let's, let's grab the level here, and I'm actually going to switch this to the 5.1 bus. And now I'm going to get all uh, six of those surround channels. Um, my phase scope. Here I could switch to uh, include surround also. And you know what? Maybe that's a good use case. So let's get rid of that. We'll redo this vertical split. I'm gonna turn this one into the clock. I'm gonna turn this one into another phase scope. And I'm gonna set that to my surround channels and this one to my stereo channels. So now let's take a look at what this gives us. 
As you can see, when we start playing, we can see our phase scope here is showing us information on both the left, right, and surround, left, left surround and right surround. We've got our time code running. We've got our multi panorama here, which are showing us basically um, stereo information by frequency. Then we've also got multi correlation, which is showing us correlation by frequency. So if there's a particular frequency that's out of phase, we can see that, be aware of it. Maybe there's something we can do to improve that, or maybe it's something we go back and look at in the mix. So that's how you create a custom layout and what some of the metering options are. Lastly, I just wanna bring your awareness to this settings wheel. Um, there are different settings available for each type of level meter. And these really allow you to customize and tailor what the meter is showing you um, in terms of peak hold, fallback, um, RMS integration time or resolution, right? So if we want it to behave like a VU meter, a VU meter has a 300 millisecond resolution, you could do that. Uh, Duro meters, I believe, are 600 milliseconds. So you can really kind of tailor this to behave just the way you want. Um, and depending on what type of meter you select, you're gonna get different options up here to customize things. The last thing I wanna show you is um, something you may have noticed, and that's that this top bar looks a little different than any other plugin window. And that's because you can actually make Supervision full screen. So you could take this, set it up just the way you want, put it off on a secondary monitor, make it full screen, and there you've got a comprehensive metering and analysis suite, always there, ready to look at to give you all this information. So that's Supervision in WaveLab Pro 11. If this was helpful, please give us a like, a subscribe, hit that notification bell. We've got more videos like this coming. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.